My name is Mehdi Rizali. I never planned to be a tennis coach. I wake up early, like uh, we're talking 5.45, 6 a.m. I kind of start with Germantown Cricket Club. First, growing up in Morocco, like tennis is uh, kind of everybody can play it. You know, it was not only rich people that can play it. Uh, so living right next to a tennis club was a big advantage. You know, my brothers playing in front of me in tournaments. It was more of a, like an inspiring story. Like I wanted to be like them. I wanted to uh, travel like them. You kind of take these routes in life, and then. It's not like it happens by luck, but I think the path starts to make itself. You know, as long as you're like getting better and improving and 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 becoming successful, mm -hmm. that's the route I wanted to take. But I did not know it would necessarily take me to coaching. Uh, it was one of the things I was thinking about, but it was never like something set. Coach calling us, Casey. Hey, hey Casey. How are ya? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. We are at the office. Oh, you're there. Perfect. I'm walking over right now. Casey brings a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy, and a lot of experience. You know, she played number one at St. Joe's, played professionally. She reached like 800 in the world, which wasn't easy. She knows how to win, you know, and I think she can bring that to our team. Okay, Tom. Super fun, energetic, really, really great coach. I wish I had a coach like that in college. Make, make sure you hit him down, stay moving. We, this is Friday, this is the first time we kind of have all of them all together. Now they had a really long week. They played four tournaments uh, overall. We're heading out to ITAs. I think they're very disciplined, you know. They, they follow all the little things, like our uniform schedule is on point. They arrive on time. They just compete for each other, which is more important than than than, uh, than just playing a tournament in the summer. We will have uh, kind of a fun practice on Friday, uh, especially this week. We don't have any tournament, but we're still like it's still college level, of, you know, uh, practice with a lot of purpose. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's a little bit tough when, when good players do a lot of things really well for a long time, a long amount of time. They are really good players if they extend that strength, that, that length of time. But they are not good players if, if when they reach down 90%, the last 10% they break down. We cannot afford that to happen right now. We plan to uh, practice outdoor from 10 to 12 with two teams, but we don't want to practice outdoor then go indoor, it creates a mess. We want to keep it consistent. We've been hitting indoor, we want to stay indoor until ITA is over and then we can figure it out. One person late is going to disrespect 18 people. You know what that means? That's 18 sprints all the way to the up and down at the, at the, at the, at the museum. So that's up and down is one 18 times because you're disrespecting 18 people, okay? 
I like the impact you put on these kids. You know, I think, you know, you give them an opportunity. Uh, you, they come here, they do well, they get a job afterwards. Like to me, that means a lot. You know, I mean, that's the purpose of, of living. You know, you have to make someone else's life better. You know, otherwise, why are you here? Yeah. So now, walk into my car. The day is about to be over. <laughs>